In this part of the video, we're going to show you how to change the product from the supine configuration through to either a prone or upright position. So again, we're going to use our 5mm Allen key. And the first thing we're going to do is remove the tray, which has been set in the supine aspect. Place that to one side. And then we're going to want to rotate our sandals round by 180 degrees by simply loosening the wing knob of the bottom turning the sandal around and obviously we can fine tune the placement of the sandal when we had a child there to adjust against and then lock back down into position. Do the same with the other sandal and lock down into position. When we're going into prone we don't need to worry so much about the knee straps, they're more there from a safety and positioning point of view in supine. However if you have a child who's overextending with their knee then you may want to use the strap to hold them in a better position. But in terms of adjusting the knee blocks, again, it's just a case of positioning them as the child needs when they've transferred into a prone position. Pelvic support stays exactly the same as does the trunk support. So the other thing we're going to want to do is rotate the product around. Pop our brakes on again. Remove the head support. Place that to one side and then we're going to need to change the orientation on our tray mounting bracket. So there is a useful sticker which illustrates which orientation the, the tray support bracket should be and then we're going to need to go to these two large bolts on the front and totally remove them, making sure to put them safe whilst we're making the adjustment. Support the bracket as you undo the final bolt. and then remove that bolt completely. So for supine we were in this orientation, so now for prone we're going to swap around and again our stickers will line up and illustrate that we've achieved the prone aspect and then we need to simply put our bolts back in to fix into place. Put our second one in. And then I can release the bracket and make sure these are done up tightly. Now one other thing we can achieve when we are using the product in prone is we can bring the chest board down lower if we wish to which is the bolt on the front as is seen in our uh, adjustment videos and that allows us to bring the top of the pad down flush with the central post if we want to. We can't do this in supine because we need to mount the head support bracket and then we return to our tray and we change the orientation of our tray support arms so they're now in a downward direction and then we're going to want to feed this into those tray support channels and bring our tray down to the desired height. Then use the wing knobs on the side to lock off the height range and then we're going to want to set our angle of the tray based against the angle of the main board and again then use our large wing knobs to fix those into place. But what we have now is a gap at the back here where obviously as a child standing in prone we could potentially lose their elbows in. So each tray will come with a grey inlay. If we flex this up into place, that then goes a long way towards filling that gap. But we've still got a little gap here. So if we return to these wing knobs that are located under the tray and then push back on the whole unit, that actually allows us then to completely close that gap lock those into place and now we've set our product up as a prone standing frame.